Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anna and I'm planning to do videos on nursing, medicine, and other types of lifestyle videos. So if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can tell from the title, I will be unboxing the MacBook Pro 2019 and I really debated on whether or not I should film this video because I'm not a tech guru by any means. So, you know, I wasn't sure if this video was gonna be helpful anyways, but I personally really do just like watching unboxing videos in general. And I don't know, maybe my elementary knowledge on laptops and Mac products can help you guys out. But for reference, I was mainly looking for a laptop where I could edit my videos and a laptop where I can just do basic surfing activities and to take notes on. And so that's what I was looking for. And if you guys are looking for a laptop like that as well, then I would highly recommend either a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro. And actually, I was really debating on whether or not I should actually get a laptop because previously I've had this laptop for a while. It's the 13-inch um, MacBook Air and it's the 2014 model and honestly, even to this day, it works just as fine and I probably would not have gotten a laptop if it wasn't for wanting to start this YouTube channel because although this laptop still works great, when it comes to editing videos, it still works but it's quite slow. So, you know, I've had this laptop for like five years now and I thought it was time to finally upgrade because Best Buy actually does have a pretty good deal right now for Black Friday. I got this MacBook Pro 2019 for $200 off. So if you guys are watching this video, the deal is still probably going on. So definitely check Best Buy out. Also, I did want to add that this time I was debating on whether or not I should get the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro. And normally I would probably go for the MacBook Air just because I don't really need my laptop to do a lot. When I was in nursing school, my MacBook Air served me really well just because it was really light and I was able to do all my school stuff on it and it was just very convenient. But now that I'm doing videos, I just thought I'd bite the bullet and get the MacBook Pro just because it's stronger. And for those of you out there who are also thinking of editing videos, I'd also highly recommend getting the MacBook Pro just because when you edit, it's a very intensive task and so you need a stronger system. And I also believe that the MacBook Pro would allow you to render files and export your video files faster. Okay guys, I'm really sorry for the schedule setup. I wasn't really sure how to best show you guys, but hopefully it still looks okay. But before I get into unboxing this laptop, I also wanted to share with you guys what specs I got. So um, I got the MacBook Pro 2019 and it has the touch bar. And I also got the 256 gigabytes. And I'm really happy that I did because with my other laptop, I also got 256 and it's pretty much almost full now. So I feel like the 256 gigabytes would really benefit, especially if I'm filming videos. Oh, I also got something else that I wanted to show you guys. So at Best Buy, I also got the Western Digital My Passport 2 terabyte external hard drive and it had really good reviews. And so far I'm really impressed with it because it's really darn light and so it's really portable. And although I got the 256 gigabyte storage on my laptop, I know that this will be really helpful for those big video files, especially if you're a YouTuber, you probably know what I mean. But even if you're looking for more storage space, then this is a good buy. So get it while it's on sale. It's on sale for $80 right now at Best Buy. Okay, so some other specs is that this laptop is 13 inch. I had 13 inch for my other laptop and I found that it was perfect. I really just want a light laptop. So 13 inch should be good for me. And it's also 1.4 gigahertz and it has eight gigabytes of memory. I also got it in the space gray color. And originally I wanted to get the silver just cause I do like the look of the silver. This is my old laptop in silver. But I saw the space gray in person and it just looked really gorgeous and I just wanted to change. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll do a comparison. Okay, enough of me talking now. Let's get to opening it. So let's see how we do this. 
So there's a tab here that I pull, I believe. Ooh, that's so nice. I love watching these videos and hearing like the sound of people opening their packages. Just so satisfying. Ah. Sorry, I'm lame. <laughs> okay. Woo! Oh my gosh. Woo. Roll up my sleeves. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I will come out of the box. <laughs> the color okay let me oh, I'm about to drop this okay everything's sliding out so that's the charger obviously what's this let me set this down before I drop it oh it's just instructions lame who reads instructions anyways just kidding I'll need that later <laughs> oh it has um the stickers okay I'll just read that later Stickers, cool beans, um, a cord. Okay, here it is, you guys. Let me just open this wrapping up. Whoa, I love that sound. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I want to get a case for this. Let's see. Okay. Why do I feel like this feels smaller? Oh, I really like the color, you guys. Wow, that just looks so sleek. I didn't think I would like the darker kind of gray, but it looks so nice. Oh my gosh. So this is the space gray. And then this, oh my gosh, I'll do this with one hand. This is the silver in the MacBook Air. I guess it's kind of hard to tell on camera. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh wow, I really like this color though. How come this feels bigger? I mean, smaller. I thought it was supposed to be the same size. I'm kind of confused. I need to look into this. I thought they were both supposed to be 13 inches. But as you guys can see, it is smaller. Okay, update you guys. So I was really confused because obviously the 2019 MacBook Pro seemed a lot smaller than my 13 inch MacBook Air. But it's because um, this bezel is actually thinner as you can see here. So there's that put this down and then for the 13 inch sorry my screen is so dirty ah, and my 13 inch 2014 macbook air this bezel is a lot thicker so but the screen size is still the same obviously i was just kind of confused i was like oh my gosh did i like get my sizing wrong but yeah they're both 13 inches just in case you were wondering Another thing that I want to compare between my old 2014 MacBook Air and the 2019 MacBook Pro is the weight because I'm a weakling and so I really need to look for laptops that are light, especially because books can add up in your backpack. So I remember at the time the MacBook Air, um, this is three pounds and it's really, really light and I really like it. It's very portable. and. I was really surprised to find out that the 13 inch MacBook Pro is actually also three pounds because I know that the MacBook Pro is supposed to be stronger. And so it's really awesome that they were able to, you know, still make it so light. So I don't know, it does feel, I mean, it feels this pretty similar. Yeah. I just love this color though, you guys. So nice. And then let's open this up. Wow, this is so sleek. Oh my gosh, it turned on. It's so nice. Let me get closer so you guys can see how it looks. Let's rip this thing off. Ooh, I gotta set this up. But this is what it looks like. I know one thing that I was scared about. To use what? English as the main language, press the return key. Thank you. I will plan to do English. Anyways, I know one thing that I was really scared about when I was doing research on the MacBook Pro 2019 was people were complaining that the keyboard was faulty. People would say that dust and crumbs would get stuck underneath and that would cause the keys to get stuck. I know that Apple changed the keyboard 
and they made it into this thing called the butterfly keys. I think it's supposed to make it really sleek and thin. And so hopefully that's not an issue, but I was reading online and people were saying that if something does happen to your keyboard, then Apple would gladly just replace the keyboard for you for free. And so that's really comforting to know. But I don't know, let's see the difference between the keyboard. I'm just gonna randomly type and see how I feel. To be honest, I actually kind of prefer the keyboard on my old 2014 model better just because it's more raised and so I like having that feeling of, you know, pressing down on keys. I don't know, I just, I like that, that clickety feeling, but I'm sure that that's something that I will have to get used to. But to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of how flat the keyboard is, but it is cool because it does make the laptop look really sleek. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully you don't have run into any issues. But another thing that's new on this MacBook was the touch bar. So as you guys can see, that's the touch bar there. And I don't really know too much about this, but I'm assuming it's just kind of like a regular old keyboard, but it's just electronic. So we just kind of just press on it. I guess it's like a your touch screen phone. That's essentially the same kind of shabam. But I don't know, for those of you guys who have a touch bar, how do you feel about it? Because personally, I wish that Apple had the MacBooks in the non-touch bar options because I don't really care about it and I feel like I could save a lot of money. But I don't know, maybe when I use it more, I'll end up really loving it. But yeah, I don't know, really good impression so far. I just really love how sleek it is and how light it feels and how portable it is and it'll be really nice to be able to bring this and edit videos and just study everywhere i go so that's awesome but yeah i really love it guys i really love the space gray it's such a beautiful color and i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it was even remotely or slightly helpful i don't foresee myself doing any more tech videos in the future because obviously i'm not a guru but hopefully it was still helpful please like this video if you did subscribe to my channel like i said before i'll be doing videos on nursing and medicine and other just lifestyle vlogs so those videos will be back up on schedule soon but yeah thanks for watching you guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video